back in session and parents everywhere are looking for fresh ideas to throw foods into the school lunchbox or for after school snacks. So today's NutriBite, we are going to show you how to make a no-bake cookie. Now when I say cookie, you're probably thinking, how can that be healthy? Well, I'm going to add a healthy spin to it by incorporating a bunch of healthy ingredients. However, your kids will not even notice because these cookies taste so good. Now, we're going to do this cookie in three steps. First off, we're going to mix all of the dry ingredients and blend them in our food processor or blender. Second, we're going to add in our wet ingredients. And then the third and final step is just to shape them into cookies. So let's talk about what our dry ingredients are. We're going to start off with about 10 graham cracker squares or five graham cracker sheets. And then we're going to add in half a cup of rolled oats about one to two tablespoons of ground flax seed, and then two to three tablespoons of unsweetened coconut. So I'm gonna add all of those ingredients, which I already have, into my blender, and then I'm going to puree it until it's about a fine crumb type of texture. So this is what it will look like. So I'm gonna dump out my dry ingredients into my mixing bowl. And you can see it's not really a whole lot. So um, this batch of cookies actually only makes about 8 to 10 cookies. So just keep that in mind if you're wanting to make more. All right, so now it's time to add our wet ingredients. Our first thing that we're going to add is our dried fruit. And it's about a fourth of a cup. Now I had dried raisins on hand, but things like craisins or dried um, currants or golden raisins make for an addition, a delicious addition as well. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of honey, about a third of a cup of our sunflower seed butter. Now I'm using sunflower seed butter for those people who want to take their cookies to school, for instance, where we don't have to worry about a nut allergy using something like peanut butter. But peanut butter, almond butter would be great in this recipe as well. And then our fourth final uh, wet ingredient that we're going to use is our coconut oil. Now coconut oil is a saturated fat and you can see that at room temperature it is is solid and of course you've probably heard that we should be reducing our amounts of saturated fats in our diet. However, there's some recent literature that suggests the type of saturated fat in coconut oil might not be as bad as we think. And the good news as well is that it tastes delicious in this recipe. So we're going to add about one tablespoon, not a whole lot for eight to ten cookies anyway. So after I've added our wet ingredients, you're basically just going to mesh that mixture together, form our cookies, and there you go. So that's what they're going to look like. I sprinkled a little extra coconut on top. 